Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I know I gained quite a few subscribers recently, so for those of you that are new, hi, my name is Jennifer, welcome to the family. I'm so happy you subscribed to my channel. For those of you joining us for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I post beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content here on my channel three times a week. So I have a really fun unboxing for you guys today. So before we get into the video, make sure you hit that like button Make sure you subscribe if you are new and you wanna make sure you hit that bell notification so that way you're notified every single time I upload. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So as you guys can see by the thumbnail and the title, I do have a really fun Gucci unboxing for you. It was kind of like a hidden gem. I went into Gucci not really expecting to find anything, but I just wanted to look around and see what was new. And I stumbled upon this item and once I saw the sale price, I knew I had to have it. Usually with luxury designer items, when they do go on clearance, they really don't have many sizes. You typically have the size 34, 35, maybe 36, and then you have like 40, 41, 42. So essentially you have the very, very small sizes and the very, very big sizes. The 38 range, you know, anywhere from 37 to 39, which are kind of the most popular sizes, are typically never there, they're always gone. So when I discovered that they had this item in my size, I knew I had to try it on and they fit so well. So I know you guys are probably like, Jenna, shut up, open, we wanna see what you purchased. So here is the item, it looks like this. And as you guys can probably tell, it is a pair of shoes. So let me know down in the comments what style you think these shoes are. If you're not familiar with the different styles of Gucci shoes, let me know if you think they are sandals, flip-flops, wedges, heels, boots, booties. I would love to know your guesses. So while you guys go and do that, I'm going to go get a sip of coffee. Two hours later. Okay, so now that you guys submitted your guesses down below, I'm going to unbox this item for you. And the one thing that I love about purchasing designer shoes is that you always get extra... Um, heels so these are the little pieces that get um, nailed into the bottom of the heel so these little black things are what you actually walk on and for those of you that wear heels a whole lot you do know that you wear these pieces out really really quickly I've had some shoes that I've had to have repaired probably five seven ten times before getting rid of them so it's nice that they come with an extra set of heels and as always, you do get the care cards with it. And I don't know if I can do this on camera. So here is what they look like in the box. And these are the pumps I picked up. They are super, super cute. And I just think that they are so perfect for work. They're simple, they're basic, but they are a little fun because of the classic Gucci color um, slingback right here. It is elastic. So to dive into more detail about the shoes themselves, they are called the Sylvie Slingback from what I've been able to research online. Now they do have the name um, Malaga Kid, but when I put that into Google, they were not the same shoes. Like the Milagic Kid were a completely different style, nothing even close to this. So when I did a little bit of research, the, the style that kept coming up with these was called the Sylvie Slingback. So I'm going to assume that these are the Sylvie Slingback and then the barcode that was put on my box is just probably the wrong style name. So anyway, these are a 100 millimeter heel. And one thing that is kind of interesting is usually within luxury designer shoes, I wear a 38 and a half. Sometimes in boots or booties, I will size up to a 39 just because in the winter time or the fall, I typically wear thicker socks with my boots or booties. 
And these I actually picked up in a 38. I did try the 38 and a half on for size and they were about a half size too big. So the 38 fit perfectly. And when I mean they fit perfectly, I mean that my heel was not overflowing on this part. So you did have about a quarter of an inch between the end of my heel and the end of the shoe. I know sometimes when shoes fit quote unquote perfectly, your heel goes right to the edge and then from the side, you almost see the skin of your heel kind of overflowing. So that was not the case in these shoes. And the elastic here is the classic red, blue, and white uh, colors from Gucci. And the one thing that I really liked about the elastic is it's very strong. Like it's not a super flexible elastic. So that tells me that it won't stretch out too quickly. It also does a really good job about keeping your foot secure in the shoe. Now moving on to the front of the shoe, the shoe is a full leather. So that means um, insole top and it's a very, very soft leather. Like it just feels very, very buttery. And one thing that I really liked about the shoe is the, the leather right here almost comes to a point. So from the sides coming to the top, it almost comes into a point and then goes into this point right here. So it's just a very elegant looking shoe. It's very, very comfortable. That's what the inside looks like. And then the bottom as well. So one thing I will mention is that just trying them on and kind of walking around my house, the bottoms are definitely very, very smooth, very slippery. So if you do decide to pick these up, if you can find them, um, just be aware that the bottoms are still very smooth. So it is a little slippery on carpet. So you may need to walk outside or walk on concrete just to scuff them up slightly, which will provide a grip for when you're walking. Now, I'm not sure when these exact shoes were launched in Gucci. Um, when I did pick them up, like I said, they were on sale and there were very, very, very few sizes left, like probably two or three sizes. And so for them to have a 38 was just a miracle in my opinion, but I did pick them up for only $329. So they were such a good deal. I couldn't pass them up. And surprisingly, they're very, very comfortable. I know sometimes people will say that designer shoes are very uncomfortable because the toe box is very small, it squishes their feet. And for me personally, I feel like the toe box is a little bit wider than most designer shoes. So for me, it gives you that little bit of extra room. They're very comfortable. And I think this is definitely a shoe that I could wear all day long. And just if you guys were curious, they were made in Italy. I do prefer Italian shoes just because the quality of the leather and the craftsmanship is a little bit more detailed than some other um, countries that I found. Now I haven't bought shoes, of course, from every single country, so I don't know, I can't really compare 100%, but the ones that I have tried, I just prefer the way Italian shoes are made. So as we were leaving Gucci, I was kind of browsing one, doing one last lap around the store and I happened to come across a t-shirt and I actually picked this up for my daughter. And just as a disclaimer, I typically don't buy designer items for my daughter just because she's at an age where she's growing so quickly. You know, kids love to play so they get their clothes dirty or stained. So. I typically don't, but every now and then I will see a piece that is just really cute. And if the price is right, I will purchase it for her. So this is the shirt I found. It is so cute and it's very um, 70s style. It says on it, um, it says peace, love, Gucci, soul. And it's got rainbows and stars and hearts and strawberries. And it's just very, very girly and cute. And I picked this up in a size, what size is this? Eight. Um, typically she does wear a size seven, eight. And if I buy her designer shirts, which 
literally she only has one other I always usually buy it a size too big so that way she has time to really wear it and grow into it and this shirt was on sale as well and the price you guys are gonna die like die the price was forty dollars forty dollars for this child's Gucci shirt four zero dot zero zero US dollars forty dollars that is crazy so when he told me that I was like sold because sometimes even sweatshirts for little kids now are just crazy they're like 50 bucks and it's like she's gonna wear it for three months you know so when he said $40 I was like I am sold and if you guys were interested this was made in Italy as well and the t-shirt is a hundred percent cotton so if it does go in the dryer, which I'm not sure it will, but it will shrink a little bit. And the cotton is very, very soft. So I feel like I really scored at Gucci. Typically, like I said, I don't really go in looking for anything. It may just be my preference, but I really love the way the Gucci designs were maybe 10 years ago or more. I feel like now they're becoming a little bit tacky, which is probably not the best for to use but I feel like they went from very classic styles and patterns and designs to kind of a more um, I don't know tacky approach is that terrible to say it just reminds me of when coach was the big brand you know everybody wanted a coach purse and they went through this really beautiful design their leather was really nice their colors were perfect and then they started introducing that poppy collection I think you know it was bright colors and sequins and it just looked very childish to me and it became very tacky and since they started doing that I haven't purchased coach anything I just don't like the way that their brand has evolved personally usually I don't find anything in Gucci that I like because it's a little too Some items can be a little too tacky for me. I prefer to purchase my luxury designer items that are classic. They're going to stand the test of time. They're going to be in style when, you know, in 20 years when my daughter is grown. So those are the types of investments I like to make. Now, of course, there are exceptions. Every now and then a brand will launch a limited edition item that is super in your face and super weird. And yes, sometimes I do like it, but typically on a day-to-day -day basis when I am shopping, I go for more classic styles. So that is all I have for you for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions regarding either of these items, please let me know down in the comments and I will be sure to answer all of them for you. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you're all happy and healthy and I will see you all very soon. Bye guys.